Oh, yes, it's the time again to do a video. Uh, today's topic would be about scorpion because uh, I think some folks have a bit of difficulty in putting in the scorpion and I think uh, this deserves a video on its own to talk about it. Let's go! Hello! Uh, and yes, as usual, we uh, I arranged for a factory production piece to be in our uh, office here today so I can use this piece to demonstrate um, tips and guides on how to uh, put it together. Now you might be thinking why why Brian? Because um, usually they're saying of his band but they've, they've all left the office and it's actually about 9 o'clock here uh, at night and uh, I thought mm, just much I'll do it. And I'm actually the best person because I'm not very, uh, I'm not an expert, I'm not a professional so I'm, I'm kind of like a average collector so if I can do it so can you. Now um, Okay, so why are we doing this video? Because I think some of you might have seen some comments from uh, some unlucky collectors where this hand, uh, some fingers are broken um, and also the back feet of scorpion is broken off as well. Now, based on these two breakage areas, I kind of have an idea on what happened. Um, now, the issue is or rather, let me give a bit of explanation on how this piece is engineered, right? So if you can come a little bit closer, I want to show you, if you look inside here, where the bottom peg field is. Now, notice that I kind of scraped a bit, a bit of the paint. You can see that this is actually a, a full metal block um, um, hole. It is not a, a resin, because resin is a bit softer. So what this means is that all these metal uh, fittings with the metal peg here, are kind of precision manufactured so they all fit in the same angle the same way and the way this piece has been engineered design is that if you hold it you know that the weight is at the upper body and once you add on the tail it's even heavier so the thing's gonna kind of tend to lean forward so if we only had one pack it's not gonna work we need to have a second pack that holds it from the back so that this this piece is secure and it doesn't topple even for, for a long time, right? So this is the reason why this piece has to be a perfect fit, has to be very tight. Now, this is not a case of uh, warping or, you know, some people get, oh, mine is really tight and someone has, someone's a bit looser. You should all be receiving the exact same uh, configuration. So because these are all, again, machine precision uh, done in a way. So uh, now with that out of the way, let's talk about, um, what I think happened with um, the breakage. Uh, I believe it's a case of uh, probably not used to uh, the right angle. Uh, maybe it's from the positioning. So I'll give a bit of the kind of uh, explanation. So if I help at a, uh, uh, trying to fit this statue in from, from this way, right? And I'm focusing on how to fit the pegs in, I might be leaning my statues back and forth, right? And once you do that, the variation of the angle changes a lot. And these are meant to be really kind of accurate fit. So once you change the angle and you are going in at the wrong angle, pretty much it's going to create a, a situation where things are not going to fit. And then when you try to force, then bad things happen. So um, let's go to tip one on how to fit this in uh, as smoothly as you can. Now the first thing to note is that Notice I will not recommend holding it at, at the leg and trying to fit in. Because notice my weight is not very secure. I mean, it's not very balanced. It's easy to wobble around, which means my variation of the angle is going to change a lot. This or that way. So I'm going to hold it here at the top of the body. This is the heaviest point. So now it's going to be a bit more straight. And I use one hand to direct my angle so that I try to fit in as, you know, as uh, accurately as possible. So here you look at the base. Now notice I place it at the lower table, which is make, it makes it easier for me to kind of, from the top, go in at the right angle. So if the issue is if you try to go in this way or this way, uh, it's, it's not gonna work and it's gonna create a lot of issues. So I think what happened was, placing on these two packs, because this is the larger one, people might be inclined to put this in first. But, but it might not work out as easy because let me show you why. So I'm gonna fit in the, the bottom pack first. Because it's a bigger pack with a bigger allowance of hole, and you're focusing on putting this in, you're not really 
really focusing on the back. So once you fit the front in and you think it's a fit, you realize, oh, my uh, the backpack is not fitting in. It's only a kind of a, a few millimeters away. So this gives you the impression that, oh, it's a really tight fit. Maybe if I push this fit backwards, I can force it in. Now, what happens if you do that and you use too much force, either the feet breaks or the fingers that is being held here gets catched onto the rock and it breaks. I think that's the reason why the breakage on the fingers and on the back leg because you are trying to apply force to pull the back leg to try to force it into the hole. And, and the, the, the important thing here is if it doesn't fit, you have difficulty, don't force it because this is designed to fit in very nicely. If it doesn't fit in, take a break, try it again, try a different angle. Uh, uh, I know it's gonna sound weird when I say this, but if one hole doesn't fit, try the other hole. Now, um, I'm gonna take this out again, and you will see that taking it out is gonna be a bit difficult because it's actually, I've put it in the wrong way from the bottom. So now the angle is a bit wrong, and pulling it out is gonna be a bit tough. So I'm gonna have a bit of force to try to pull it out. So you gotta be careful about it. So now, I'm taking it out. Now the right way to put it in, or the better way, fit the last pad in first, the one on top. Because it's closer to you, you can see that. So, align the pad on top in. Don't go in all the way. Just leave the tip in. Now, this gives you room to, to adjust the, the bottom leg. So now I adjust the bottom leg, and find the, the catch. Okay, once you find it, it goes in. So, it should go in uh, uh, see, once you get the correct angle and the correct uh, orientation, it should go in very nicely in a very tight fit that the whole statue doesn't wobble at the base here. So, again, if the camera can kind of go on top and look down, I just want to explain that. Yeah, from this angle, you can see. Remember, this is the straight line. You want this statue to go in this way. Okay, not this way, not that way. So. This will be a, uh, this, which is why this table for me is low. It's easier for me to kind of fit in. So if the table is a bit too high for you, you find yourself struggling, getting the right angle, maybe put it at the floor first, fit it in, and then, you know, uh, of course don't fit the tail in first. Then once you move things to a display case, then you start fitting in the rest. Right. So we're gonna move on to tip two on how to remove this piece, uh, because in case you wanna switch out the hands and everything. So I'm just gonna remove this piece, and there's a trick to it as well, right? So, um, remember, if you can, hold, to, hold the top part of the body, okay? And put another hand to hold the base and try to kind of go upwards, not sideways, and really go a little bit if you have to, and it should come out. Now, um, let me try to put the hand in so you can see, even putting it back in will be pretty easy. Again, we'll repeat, back leg in first, don't go in all the way, shift the front front leg to try to find the opening. Basically, once you manage to find it, it should all slide in very nicely. And you can see why it needs to be a perfect fit because there's three points. There is this feet, there's this feet, and there's the hands here. So if it's not a tight fit, even a small angle of change you know, it might cause problems with the fingers here trying to grab onto the rock or this piece toppling over time. So, um, it's definitely meant to be tight, but not impossible to fit in. So you do not have to force it. Um, now, I'm gonna demonstrate again tip two on how to remove it. So just now I, I, I showed you one example is to hold this here, one hand on the base and wiggle it and pull it out, right? Now, another way is if the statue is a little bit too heavy for you, so let me try to put this in again, again, same tactic, okay, is you, you could hold the base with two hands, notice how I'm holding it, and kind of like, you know, like uh, using your hands to slowly, and fingers to slowly inch it up. So, so you're actually pushing both of the feet up at the same time. Now you can see this is easy as well. Once it's up and a bit loose, it's easy to just pull the whole thing out. So this is using the two hands method. The reason why we don't recommend using two hands method to fit it in is because your hands cover the, the pad, you can't really see it. But when you're pulling out, you don't really need to see the, the opening. All right, so okay, so this is uh, the tips. 
on how to uh, you know take it out so you can change the, the hands and how to put it in again hopefully um, that's um, that helps now um, tip 3 is the simplest to follow right tip 3 is despite using the methods that we've kind of shown you you still can't quite manage to to put it in and you find that it's just too tight you just won't get in and, and you're afraid you'll break then please stop stop that uh, drop us an email uh, on our customer service form uh, reach out to us on Facebook uh, and we will try to assist you and give you a guide on how to do it because that really shouldn't be a way you have to force it if you have to force it it's already wrong so um, this will kind of uh, explain what's the best way to fit this in uh, I also want to take a chance to kind of talk about the tail right I think um, now the tail actually we've inserted three metal rods in there's one here there's one at the end of the tail and there's one in the middle the reason why we can't have a full rod is because um, well technically having a rod that exact same size and having the poly resin conform to that uh, it's gonna be a bit tough uh, because they're gonna kind of like um, contract expand at different rates that's why there's a bit of gap in between uh, but it also means that there's hidden weak spots here because there's no metal rods throughout so if you receive one that's broken at this area it's probably due to excessive shipping and handling uh, but we'll, we got your back covered just send a photo to us and we'll give you a replacement so um, yeah that's basically the tips on how to fit the uh, scorpion together I hope it helps if you're still not really sure drop us a comment and the video below and we'll maybe we'll do another video to try to address those all right hope this guy this thing helps you guys See you next time.